Hey guys, it's Butch. This is an epilogue video to my morning in Fondren, Mississippi, which is in Jackson. It's a neighborhood. And I'm still smoking my Lancaster because I had to cut that short because it started to rain. And then it cleared up. So, Perinelli apple, rusticated. I'm on my front porch. So anyway, the follow-up is that with that break in the video that I had, which I wanted to make it longer, but I couldn't figure that out on my movie maker. But um, I stopped and talked to this guy. He was 66 years old and he was guarding the parking lot that goes to this building. There's only 11 parking spaces and they belong to the people in the building. So he keeps people from parking there, especially during lunch. Well, he's 66 years old and he just started talking to me. And he told me that he got robbed this morning. He was uh, had to get up at 5.30, or had to be out by 5.30 to catch the bus. And he saw someone wandering, you know, like sneak up on him and he just looked away for a second. When he looked back, he had a gun to his head. And he thought about kind of challenging them and then he thought, you know what? It's not worth it. And I asked him, I said, so where do you live? He said, I live in West Jackson. I was like, Ugh. I mean, that is the rough area. I mean, I know people who live there and they live there, but if you don't have to live there, you want to live somewhere else. And um, so, I'll get it. Did I say I was smoking Lancaster from the Country Squire? It's a caramel coffee kind of thing. There's another video on that. Anyway, so he had no money, he had no phone, but he had to get to this parking lot. So he walked from West Jackson to Fondren. He said it took him two hours. I don't know how far that is, but I'm guessing it's about eight miles. And I said, why'd you move to West Jackson? He said, well, I just moved up from New Orleans two months ago. And I figured, what could be as bad as that? I was like, well, it's West Jackson. Um, anyway, so I left him and went to McDade's to get some vegetables for lunch. It's, um, it's in my video. You'll see it. And they have the best fried chicken there. So I was in there getting my vegetables, and I just kind of found myself in the lunch line because I figured I was there. Might as well get some chicken because I don't get it very often. Well, as I was standing in line, I just got this feeling or whatever that of course I need to buy that guy his lunch, a lunch. Like what was I thinking, not thinking that to begin with? So I got through, I got him some fried chicken, some peas and potatoes and some macaroni and cheese with some, of course a cornbread roll. And I went out there and I just started talking to him again. I had this lunch bag and I was going back over what happened to him and he uh, speaking of thug life my neighbor's son just came and did something at her house and I don't I don't trust that guy but anyway 
uh, started talking to him and told him about the McDade's thing and, you know, best fried chicken. He's like, man, I love fried chicken. I like watermelon. I don't care what people say. I like all that. And I was like, I know. I understand. Me too. You know, fried chicken is my favorite food. Um, even not so great fried chicken is pretty darn good. And so I said, you know what? I figured... You know, I have food at home. I'm buying these vegetables, so I want you to have my lunch. I want you to eat this lunch. I, I got it for you. And his eyes got kind of big, and then they got like he wanted to cry a little bit. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. It's not like that. It's just, you know, it's it's good. It's a good thing. You were robbed today. You probably don't have money for lunch, um, and you need a good lunch. So here's lunch. He was like, thank you, thank you so much. And then I had this idea. I carry a $10 bill in my little wallet. I have like a little credit card wallet that I keep in my front pocket. But I always have a $10 bill in there just in case. And I thought, well now this is what you're using it for. This is the just in case. Like it's not just in case I need it, it's just in case it needs to be used. So I said, and here's $10, you know, to get you your bus fare back and maybe back here again. And um, I mean, you would have thought I gave him a thousand dollars in a brand new car the way he was acting. But I said, you know what? It's okay, it's just what we're here to do and we need to take care of each other. And you know, this, this is not about me. And even though I'm making this video, um, I just, you know, I guess it does sound like I'm tooting my own horn for being compassionate or something, but that's not the reason for this. It's more for just to get it out there that it's, we gotta pay it forward. You know, and I have been very guilty of not doing that. And, you know, probably because of my situation and feeling like, well, I don't have enough. So, you know, well, how much is enough? You know, what, why don't I have $10 to give to someone? I do. Why can't I buy someone a $6 lunch? Well, I can. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. And I, I was relieved that somebody was able to help him. He, because he was not asking for anything. He didn't have a pity party. He didn't. There was no poor me. There was none of that. He was just telling me the story, and he kind of laughed about it. You know, he wasn't broken up and trying to draw me into his drama. He kind of laughed about it. So I liked the guy. So anyway, that's my little epilogue to my day. This is my third video of the day. Actually, fourth because one of them was two videos spliced into one, which is up now, of course. And the other one is just me talking about. Lancaster from the Country Squire. Um, so there it is, you guys. I just decided to pay it forward today, and um, you know, people have it worse than I do. You know, I don't live in the hood. I live in a very nice neighborhood of normal houses, not McMansions or anything. My house is a ranch. Can you see that? Mm, maybe not. But anyway, it's just a normal little house. Um, and Jackson, Mississippi is a great place for doing that. Do you know Mississippi is number one in the nation for giving? That's, that's a good thing we're known for, for number one. Because most of our number ones are, we're number one in being last in education and being last in roads and being last in honest politicians and whatever else. But, you know, it, it's been my home now for almost 18 years. And, uh, you know, I hope this guy does well. I kind of, you know, I kind of thought about setting up a GoFundMe page for him just to get like maybe five hundred dollars for him let me know what you think of that um i don't know really how to i mean i know how to do it i guess but i don't know how that actually works but uh, i know people do it so um there's also another one that i think is specifically for raising money for people and so our, our paths crossed today and for some reason the light turned on and i was able to get outside of my mental musings and to actually help another human being so there you have it. You guys take care. I'll catch you later.